What's up you guys, it's Jason from RPM and today we're gonna to be going over another new product that's kind of unique and uh, you know, it really isn't our calling but we had people hitting us up like, hey, you should build this or hey, how do we fix this? We call it the intake air cooler kit. Essentially what it is, is a piece of silicone that's gonna go on the front firewall left or right side of your UTV and it's gonna have a multi-position adjustable open close vent on it. What this is pretty much is, is a ram air effect. It's gonna blow air on your feet. How this came about is really a lot of guys ride in the desert or Baja or just on really hot days, they would just boil their feet. Your feet are so tucked into these side-by-sides, not just the X3. This is a universal kit, by the way. This will fit on any UTV that has a plastic firewall, anything. It's gonna take air in and then on the other side, you can adjust where the air is going. Pretty cool. What we ran into was we would be in Mexico on really hot summer days and your feet would just boil, man. Your, your lower body would be hot. And I don't care, guys driving down the road with the door cracked like this, yeah, that's cool for like two minutes until you need to drive the car and the doors are closed and your back would be hot again. So what we did is we built this simple kit. Um, when you're on the website, you're gonna choose between straights and 45s for your intake pieces. And essentially where these go are gonna be right about here. Like on the X3, this X3, we'd mount it right there. And by the way, these totally clear the tires. And if you have way oversized tires on an X3, these will clear 32s, no problem. If you have 35s and you compress far enough to hit this, it's all right, it's just gonna fold it over. You can't damage this silicone anyway. Like it's totally movable, it's pliable. It can do whatever you want it to do. Same thing with the 40s. And you can cut these down too. So if this 40 is too long, too big, whatever, feel free to cut it. You want a different angle. If you want out a 60, you can cut it, no problem. But like on a Pro R, a 40 is perfect. Almost all the players is the 40 is perfect. So it's just something like that. A little too much for the X3. That's why we use straights for them. So essentially you're going to choose which one of these you want to use. Easy as that. As far as install, it's a two and three eighths hole saw bit. You're going to drill straight through here. You're going to attach this two piece vent. This goes on the inside, this goes on the outside. You screw it, you screw it until it's tight, obviously. And then you attach your silicone and you will clamp down the silicone using the supplied worm gear clamp just using a simple flathead. So this is a super easy install. We're gonna do one on this X3 to show you how easy it is. And we'll do it on the Pro XP also and I'll show you a video of one on our Pro R because the Pro R is really where it all stemmed from. We kept getting guys telling us how hot their Pro R was and we noticed it too. We went to the desert, we started driving the car even at night, the car would just get so hot and at your feet. It was literally, it was, it made it unenjoyable to ride it. So what this does is with some speed, you know, 20 mile an hour to 60 mile an hour, it's going to move air across your feet. And I know a lot of guys are thinking right now, oh, it's going to bring in dust. You're in a UTV, man. Dust is the least of your worries. You're getting dust and sand in the car and on your feet no matter what. So there's that. The next worry is, is, oh, well, I don't want to have that big of a hole in my firewall if I decide I don't want it. No problem, we're gonna include a firewall plug. So if you ever remove it, you're gonna put a firewall plug there like it never happened. It completely seals it off, completely waterproof, just like any other firewall plug that's on the factory car as it is, just a rubber plug that would go in place of it. So um, that's included with the purchase as well. Uh, each purchase, you're gonna get two of these. So you'll pretty much get two of everything. You can pick your straights um, or your 45s, like I said. And again, this is not just for the X3, it mounts on any side-by-side that -side. has a plastic firewall. So the X3 is super easy. This side's really easy. That side, you gotta work around a second piece of plastic. All the pluruses are just single wall, super easy. You can pick these up at rpmsxs.com and let's install one. All right, guys, moving on to the install. It's super simple. A two and three eighths hole saw drill bit and a flathead screwdriver. That's all you're gonna need. So to find out where you're gonna put it, since this is a universal kit, it's kind of safe to say that you don't wanna drill into anything behind the firewall. So on these X3s, we've installed a few already. I know exactly where to put it. But what I usually do is I reach back up in here and I'm making sure everything is good. I know I'm aiming for this area. Everything behind this is clear. So I'm kind of just, you know, marking like this. Like I know I wanna be about somewhere in here. And it's a universal kit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just know I wanna be right about there when I nail it. So that's where I'm gonna put it. And you can put yours lower if you want it lower on your feet. But again, remember, these things are completely adjustable. You open it, just push it, close it where you want. You know, if you want your air down, up, wherever you want it, um, these are completely adjustable. So let's knock a hole in this thing. The hole's drilled, it was really that easy. Next, we're gonna put this on the inside, push it through the firewall, take the nut, 
clamp it down. Simple as that. It doesn't matter. There's no you know, specific position of where it needs to be or anything. I do get those pretty tight. We do supply Loctite, so if you want to put it on those threads, it does help it you know, never move. So we never had an issue with one coming loose, but we do include it. Next, we're going to be putting the worm gear clamp, the supplied worm gear clamp on the silicone, and we'll be installing it onto the vent. Once you got it all lined up, I like to keep the clamp here on the bottom, and uh, you just kind of hold it in and tighten it down with the flathead here. All right, guys, here it is opening. And we're going to adjust it a little bit, you know? So yeah, there you go. It's as simple as that. Now with it installed, it's much easier to understand exactly what we're going after here. We've got a ram air coming through the front into those vents. The vents are adjustable. So we're gonna blow the air wherever we need it to be at. On our feet, up high, nothing at all. All right guys, now we're gonna be doing the same install on the Pro XP, which is also the same as the Pro R. On the Pro XP, there's a little bit of extra plastic right here. This whole little piece, we're actually going to be scoring it with a razor blade and just taking it out of there. It'll give us full access to right there. So this is the same on the Pro XP as it is the Pro R. It's super easy. We're going to cut that little flap out of the way, get one of these installed. It's uh, the same passenger to driver side on both of those machines. So let's get to it. And drawn right here, I'm going to go ahead and score with the razor blade and take it out of there. All right, guys, now we're going to sneak in here and pop ourselves a hole that gets us even between here and here. Sometimes I use the, uh, I use this to kind of mark the hole about where I need to be. So that's how I do that. And uh, like I said, this is universal. You can mount it however you want, wherever you want, and uh, use whatever silicone you want. Um, we're going to be using a 45 or, sorry, the 40 on this and keeping it straight forward. And uh, as simple as that, let's get to it. All right, guys, time to assemble. All right, easy as that, time to move on. Clamp her down, boys. Now this one kind of lined up straight forward. All right, simple as that. Open, close. Can I move it wherever you want? The 40s work so good on the Pro XPs and a lot of the other players just too, even the Razors, because 40 is about the angle of their firewalls. So yeah, they're catching the uh, air head on right there. And like I said, this, this kit's universal. You can install it on any side-by-side, -side, Yamaha, Kawasaki, it doesn't matter. And the silicone can be cut different angles, however you want. Very, very universal, very easy to install as you can see. So that's it. So yeah, that's super easy install on all these side-by-sides. There's not much to it. You can pick them up at rpmsxs.com and any of our dealers online, wherever you want to grab them from, any of the trade shows we're at, that's cool too. Enjoy. <laughs>